okay good day to all of you so for this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to use a process description tool to a certain um, context or situation so our process description tool is called the decision tree so for you to to understand how it is used so let's have a context for example of an ATM withdrawal and then we're going to use a decision tree okay so we have we have um, decision tree and then our example is ATM withdrawal so how are we going to withdraw um, money from an ATM so first is we have so we will have a question so has ATM card okay your question should be formed which is answerable by yes or no okay so the, again question is formed which is answerable by yes or no then let's create a branch for the yes and then we have for the no and then if it is a no then of course okay if it is a no then we will have no transaction of course okay no transaction okay okay next is example you have an ATM card yes and then the next question would be correct pin entry correct pin entry and then again it is answerable by a yes and a no of course if it is a no so incorrect pin is we have enter correct pin so for the no okay and then if it is a yes so we have another question so the question is has zero balance has zero balance okay again so what will be the direction will it be a yes or or a no so actually if if it is a yes meaning it has a zero balance so actually we will put here the yes and then the no on the upper side on the upper so yes if it is a zero balance then withdrawal failed withdrawal failed because you don't have money and if it has uh, if it's not a zero balance and then the next question will be okay the question will be is has enough balance okay so if it is a yes and then we also have a condition for the no oh no okay so for the no is we have has enough balance no so you have money if you want to withdraw you should enter lower amount and then if it is a yes and then we have withdraw money so this is our example for uh, for our decision tree so again decision tree your question should be answerable by yes or no and then for every branch is we're going to um, have it's either the description of what will happen or an advice or a, a directive so that he or she can return 
to the to the line with a yes and going to the success of ATM withdrawal. So that's it for um, ATM withdrawal decision tree. So if you have any questions, so feel free to feel free to ask and feel free to comment below. And then thank you very much for listening. So I hope that you learned something about the decision tree. And then please like and subscribe my channel. So again, thank you very much and good day.